Bushcraft 412 here. And uh, I want to do a quick video about uh, flint and uh, chert rocks. Um, when I was up in Maine, I'd done a little reading before I left for my vacation and saw that uh, a lot of the Indians, well, natives in the area, um, they pulled a lot of flint out of the area I was in in Maine, and I guess it was pretty rich. So when I left New York, I made sure I brought a uh, file with me, because a file is uh, carbon steel and is a really good way to... Uh, strike flint to see if it sparks without ruining up your good knives. Um, I really didn't want to work with a you know, like I didn't want to bring a knife and then, you know, kind of ruin the finish on testing out a whole bunch of rocks. So I just brought this. You know, you can get them at any hard hardware store for like five, six bucks. Sometimes even cheaper. Sometimes you can get these things at the dollar store. Just a standard uh, file, metal file. And of course they're high, high carbon steel. You need high carbon steel to make a spark. So... Sometimes it's easier when you're just hunting for flint to use something like this rather than, you know, screw around with your knife. Now, when I was up there, I'm, to be honest, I'm completely new to finding flint. I've never flint napped or anything like that. And it's something I was interested in and wanted to learn as a skill because being able to identify and find flint in, in the wilderness is a great asset and a great skill to have if you're into bushcraft or backpacking or any of the outdoor, you know, kind of sports because... It's a, it's a good backup, being able to find flint, make fire, do all that. So as I was wandering around, and I went all over Maine. I was in the 100 Mile Wilderness, the Appalachian Trail, up in uh, Baxter State Park, um, all over the place. And a couple places I found that there had been some uh, recent logging, and the loggers left kind of piles of rocks that they had dug up. So I was going through these, and mind you, I am in no way an expert on flint. Um, the only thing I knew about it was that uh, it does have kind of many times uh, kind of a cream colored outside and then a dark inside and uh, so I started messing around with rocks and I found uh, some nice good round quartz so I started picking up rocks and kind of hitting it with the quartz and I knew that you know the stuff that broke really easy likely wasn't flint so I messed around and messed around and messed around and I found actually a whole bunch of flint I brought a uh, you know a good uh, bag of it back and I got a couple examples here to show you. This is a piece I kind of started flint napping uh, just really quick. I only spent maybe like five minutes on it and I'm going to keep going on it. I'm going to get some tools and uh, you know keep going on it and see if I can make this into a little arrowhead or something. Um, but it's kind of neat because flint comes out really dark in the center and this actually came from a rock like that. Um, when you hit it and struck it with the hammer stone it, you know, it split into a whole bunch of pieces and the shard came out. And the shard I thought would make a good arrowhead. But flint typically is dark on the inside. And usually like a cream colored on the outside. But there's all different kinds. And I believe if I'm right there's like 30 something different kinds of uh, rocks that spark. So this may not even be flint. It could be, could be some other kind of chert or or whatever. Um, but one of the big things with this was is I did this. And you can see this is fairly thin on the edges there. And as thin as that edge is, I can't break it. As hard as I push, I can't break it. So I knew it was a good hard rock and good, you know, a good rock. And then, of course, I tested it with the uh, with the file, and it sparks like, you know, it sparks pretty good. So I knew this, if it isn't flint, it's something, you know, it's some kind of chert that, that, uh, that sparks. I don't care exactly what kind of rock it is, but it sparks. I'm going to try and flint nap this and see if I can turn this into an arrowhead. I just wanted to show it because it's kind of a new project. I know I've got like a thousand projects I got going right now and I'm not going to finish any of them but hopefully this is one I'm going to finish because I'm really interested in this and it's a I think a very valuable skill to have. And this is one of the rocks I pulled out of the pile that hasn't been broken yet just to kind of show you what to look for when you're looking for flint and rocks that spark. Uh, this one here even though it's broken will spark with the file. Um, it actually sparks pretty good. Um, I'm going to show you. It's kind of a nice cream color to it. And as you can see, there's a couple spots where you can see there's a... Where you can see the darkness kind of underneath. But it's very heavy. And uh, what I kind of did to kind of figure this out is I took this rock. And I started hitting other rocks with it, you know, really hard. You know, using it kind of like a hammer stone. I found nothing could break this. So one kind of good test to start out is just pick up a rock. Start hitting other rocks. If it breaks, it's probably not, you know, something that's going to spark. But if it's that hardest rock in the group, there's a good chance it'll spark. So once I hit this a couple times, 
on other rocks. You know, I saw that, you know, it was definitely hard enough. It's very heavy. So I figured this might. So I tried that with the file, and this one sparks as well. And I just wanted to show you that just so you can see the texture and the outside of this. No clue what rock this is. I don't know if it's flint. I don't know if it's some kind of chert or quartz or whatever. I'm not overly into geology. Completely new to me. But I just wanted to share. I thought it was really neat. And uh, it's something I'm going to be kind of following up on and doing a little more of. I'm going to, you know, I think I'm going to spend a little more time going out locally and seeing if I can find some flint uh, here in New York. But I just thought it was a really cool find and a cool new skill to have. And, and now I know what I'm looking for in the woods when it comes to these kind of rocks because I've been able to feel how heavy they are and how, how strong they are and how, how good the edges hold. So neat little thing and and my best advice to you is if you're going to go out looking for flint bring a file don't you know don't screw up your knives just bring a file they're a couple bucks and they're good i would spark these for you but you know i did a couple test runs and it really doesn't show up on camera with the light on and i'm not going to mess around doing this without dark so you're going to have to take my word that they spark but you know cool thing just a neat little find on my trip to maine and wanted to share it with you guys